My name is Alexa, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own Discord bot using Python. I'll show you the steps to setting up your bot, programming it, and finally testing it in the actual Discord application. The first thing we need to do is go to the Discord website. Alright, make sure you have an account and that you're signed in. And then you want to go to this developers tab and you could click developer portal. Now you're going to see this applications dashboard. What you want to do is click new application. You want to name it like so. I'm going to name this a tutorial bot. All right, here we go. Once you have that done, you can go back to the main Discord website. Oh, if I spell that right. And go to open Discord. Now, you're going to go to this um, plus sign here that says add server. And you're going to create a server. You're going to name the server, I'm just going to name it test server or tutorial server because you don't know how many test servers I'm going to have. So create that and just skip that. Once you have that done, I don't know why I'm in a voice channel, but go back to your developer portal. Next, you need to go to this bot section of the applications folder or applications area and click add bot. Once you've done that, you can rename your bot whatever you want. I'm just going to keep it like that. And you notice that there's a token here which will come in handy later. To get this bot into your test server, you're going to have to do something a little tricky. However, I'll walk you through it. You're going to go you're going to go back to the documentation and under under OAuth2 you're going to c you're going to copy this first link into your browser. Now don't click enter yet. You're going to have to go back go back to your applications and your bot. And you're going to want to copy this client ID. All you have to do is copy it or press that copy button. I don't know why I didn't do that. But you're going to add to this URL a question mark and then client underscore ID equals oh your client ID. Copy and paste that in and then do and scope equals bot. Now, once you've done this, click enter, and you should see this sign pop up. And this is basically telling you, oh, do you want to link this bot to your new server? And yes, you do. So click the server that you want your bot to be added to, and then click authorize. Once that's done, you can close this window, and now we see that tutorial bot has entered the chat. Currently, it's offline because we don't have any code running it right now, but we'll fix that in a minute. Alright, now, this is where it gets a little tricky. So, I'm going to explain first if you're on Mac and then Windows. So, if you're on Mac, you'll need to use Python 3.6. So, if you don't have, Pyth if you don't have Python 3.6 for some reason, you may have a later version but for this you actually need 3.6 you're going to want to download a version of python 3.6 so you can just download that on the python.org website and once you have that downloaded you're going to go to the applications folder you're going to go to python 3.6 and then click this install certificates command. And I already did this, so it's gonna show a little different, but just do that, it makes things easier. 
for Windows, I'm pretty sure you could use Python 3.8. But if Python 3.8 doesn't work for you with what we're going to do later in this video, then go back, download Python 3.6, and make sure you do the install certificates, and hopefully you'll be up and running. Now we can actually install Discord Pi, the library we're going to be using to program the bot, onto our computer. Now we can do that by going to terminal, command line, git bash, whatever you want to call it, and you're going to want to type, for Mac or Linux, type python3 dash m pip install dash uppercase u discord dot pi and then brackets voice okay we're going to install that and as you can see i already have that installed and for windows you're going to do a similar but instead you'll do pi dash 3 dash m pip install dash u discord dot pi voice and i'll put those commands in the description Next, you're going to want to install PyCharm, and this is really important if you're on Mac because it makes it easier to uh, manage the interpreter you're using because you're going to be using Python 3.6 and you want the interpreter to be that way. So just download it, it'll make it easier for yourself, and if you're doing a lot of Python, PyCharm is definitely the way to go. Okay, once you have that, downloaded we actually can go back to terminal and we're going to want to make a folder that stores all of our code I just cd'd into my desktop so we can do mkdir um what am I going to call this tutorial bot I feel like just I'll just do tutorial and then um get into that folder by using cd and then we're going to do touch um, testbot.py. Perfect. Now we got a Python folder in, not a Python folder, Python file in our folder, which is somewhere here. Tutorial. Yep, we got our testbot.py. Now, what we can do is go to PyCharm. There we go. And you're going to want to open a project. Mine is a desktop, so we're going to go to tutorial and open this. All right, looks good so far. If we open it, we got our test.py file. All right, now this is very important. You want to go to run. Go to edit configurations. Click this plus sign. Go to Python. And then you see here it says Python 3.7. We want to use Python 3.6. And this is important, especially for Mac users. I'm saying this a lot, but it will save you a lot of trouble. Um, name it whatever you want, honestly. Oh, script path. Let's just choose a script path. So that's going to be here, our file. And yeah, it looks like we don't have to name it then. OK, click OK. Now we're pretty much all set. Now, if everything's been installed correctly, then we can type import discord and unnamed module. Why? Why is it saying that? All right, let's try install that in here. Oh, all right. So the problem was we didn't install this discord pi uh, locally you really want to navigate into your folder and do that 
So I'm just going to go to the Python console and to test if everything's working correctly we're going to run this code and here we get no errors because it recognizes this import discord library. The next thing we could do is, I'm just looking at the documentation here, we could do client equals discord dot client. This is going to actually make the bot go online. And then we also want to do client dot run. And then we're going to need our private token here. And to get this private token, we want to go back to our Discord developer portal. And as you can see, if we go to bot, we have this token here. So we're going to just copy this. And you don't want to share this token because then people can mess with your bot. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to show it because I'll regenerate a new token at the end of this video. So you won't be able to mess with my bot. All right, here's our token. And you want to make sure it's surrounded in quotations. Now to see if this is working, we're going to run it. And if we go back to our server, we can see that our tutorial bot is online. And if you see that it's online, then you're doing the right thing. Uh, but if it's not online, then you want to go back in this video and check to make sure you did all the steps right. Okay, now we can get to actual responding to messages and stuff like that. So this works with the at client dot event feature. All I have to do is type at client.event and it works with async function. So we're going to do the on message function. We're going to pass in message and also we'll say if message dot author. So it gets the user equals client dot user return. Now what this if statement does, if it checks if the bot is responding to itself. And obviously we don't want that to happen unless we want to be chaotic. I mean, if you want to be chaotic, then just delete that. The next thing we can do is if the message dot content starts with hello then we want to await message dot channel dot send hello I am a test bot I don't know what to say there starts with is that not okay oh oh because you don't yeah this returns either true or false and how about we in the beginning here we make sure our message dot content is set to lowercase just to make sure that all indices of hello are accounted for now let's try and run this if we go back let's say hello we get hello i'm a test bot yes it worked all right now this is great for checking if the user is a specific person or not you can change you can say if message authored equals the per equals a specific username then respond to them and stuff like that and now i'm going to add something that checks if the message dot author is me so i'm gonna put my discord username you can all add me on discord if you want i'm gonna get a special message we're gonna say Hello, 
plus message dot author. And we can we don't need like an another if for this. We can just put this if it we can nest it in this second if statement because I don't want it to just say that every time I speak. I'm just gonna have it do that. I have to do message.content equals lower. Sorry about that. Rerun it. And hopefully it will work. Yep. And it works. But why does it All right, we gotta fix this up a little. <laughs> We're gonna do else. Hopefully that's my username correctly. It should be. Maybe I have to change this to a string. Yeah, sometimes it gets really funky with the data types. So you're gonna wanna make sure you change everything to a string. So you don't run into the errors that I'm running in now, that I'm running into now. If we try that, see, you just gotta wait for a little bit. It doesn't really go offline when you when you rerun it. It just takes a little while to refresh the code. So this is a very basic, basic bot. But if you want your bot to do bigger and better things, you should definitely check out the Discord.py documentation. And this, the documentation is okay, which is why I'm making this video to help you out there. But they have a lot of features that you can include in your bots. If this video is a hit and people like it, then I'll make another video showing you how to keep track of members, join voice channels as a bot, and even react or count messages with your bot. If you found this video helpful, consider leaving a like. And if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe to Robotic Nation.